This is a Lego candy machine that I built back when I was 12 or 13. It sells M&Ms and Skittles. On the left, you see M&Ms taped in the window, and Skittles are on the right. Each coin slot is respective to them. To buy M&Ms, you place a nickel in the left slot and push in the lever. The candy will fall down into the tray. For Skittles, it works the same way. If a sneaky crook tries to use a penny, it falls into the machine without any candy in return, at his expense. The same thing happens to a dime. And quarters just don't fit. Over on the back side, it looks like I used whatever Legos I could find to put this thing together. Until I pull out this secret compartment. I can now take out this lock. And finally, a cover can be removed by pulling on a small plastic extension. This allows the money to be shaken out of the machine. After the contents have been cleared, it can be sealed up again. The lid of the machine also has a locking mechanism. On the back side, this Lego can be removed. It was made by cutting off this extra plastic. Now I can shove this Lego rod into the machine to lock down the lid. Many of the pieces here are super glued to increase strength. I can also remove this piece on the front to unlock the lid. This is what the machine looks like inside the candy compartments. When a nickel is placed in, the candy is pushed out. Now it's time to show you the mechanism. Many of the smooth Legos here were written on when my siblings and I made a Lego town a long time ago. Here's the motion of the lever. When a nickel is placed in, it gets caught on the arm for the M&Ms. The M&Ms fall down their slot, and the nickel falls down its slot. Building the skittle mechanism was tougher because the nickel had to roll farther in without it jamming. Pennies and dimes simply don't work because they pass under those Lego arms, leaving a crook very frustrated. As the nickel falls into the lever, it gets pushed across this surface and falls into its slot. This ramp here helps fix coin jams, otherwise the machine has to be taken apart. The machine can be shooken in the hopes of it falling down in the wider slot, at the expense of the customer though. On the base, there are more ramps to cause the coins to roll out of the way of the next coin. This Lego here prevents customers from pushing in the coin while the lever is also pushed in. Otherwise, this would cause a certain jam. The coin simply bounces back out. It is possible that if the lever is slightly pushed in, it may not block the nickel. This is where that extra wide slot comes into play. So that's what happens inside my Lego candy machine. Now let's move on to the lid's locking mechanism. When the lid is locked, this blue Lego is pushed in. When it's unlocked, it's pushed back out. I'll demonstrate it with a mock version of the lid. When the Lego rod hits the blue Lego, it pushes it into another tube, locking it in place. Again, many of these Legos are super glued here. When it needs to be unlocked, the blue Lego is pushed back out. So there you have it. For an uninformed family member, it's nearly impossible to steal candy or money without damaging the machine. If that were the case, they'd have little chance of putting it back together properly, and I know something was amiss. While I won't provide detailed instructions on how to build this, I still challenge you guys to build one yourself. I went through many versions before I got this one, so it'll take a bit of tinkering before you get a working model. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to share it with your friends, and thanks for watching!